All right, we have our iris looking pretty cool, right? Details in there, highlight. Um, now let's do the rest of the eye. I deleted that one we made. I'm gonna do something different, right? So delete the inner part of the white, just have the outside here. I'm gonna do that shape blend to kind of make this a smoother gradient. So I'm gonna take the pen tool and I want to make a curve that kind of matches that little, how the white curves into the duct right there. So I'm gonna click right about there. Curve's gonna go about that way. I'm gonna come right up here and then just kind of click and drag, right? Gives me a little bit of a curve. I'm gonna hold option, change directions. And I just wanna stay outside. And it doesn't really matter what happens back here. Only thing that really matters is this. I'm gonna take my direct selection tool and I'm just going to kind of bring it a little bit more forward, I think, just to make it a little more of a pronounced curve. All right, something like that. Assuming that's kind of my eye right there and then this is my duct. All right, we're going to use Pathfinder to cut all this excess off using this main part of the eye, but it's gonna disappear when we do that, so we wanna copy it. Command C, all right, because it's going to disappear. And with that selected, I'm going to hold Shift and select that. So both of those are selected. I'm going to come to Window and Pathfinder. Pathfinder has a lot of features. We've used Minus before. You should have learned Minus. This time we're going to take Intersect. Click on that, and you notice it used this to cut that little shape and keeping all this in there. But as it did the cutting, as always with Pathfinder, the thing that did the cutting disappeared. So object, actually we don't need to do object, just command B, B as in boy, to paste in back. And then we're gonna right click. And arrange and center the back so it goes behind our iris. Now we have that part of the eye back. Now we're gonna use a shape blend to blend the tear duct from pink to white. So I'm gonna fill this with pink, the tear duct color. I'm gonna eye drop, eye for eye drop. And I'm just gonna click in there for a pink. Take my selection tool, which is V, clicking on my tear duct. Command C to copy. Command F to paste in front. I'm going to take my direct selection tool, which is A, the white arrow. Double click on these points and just kind of following the line of the original. I'm just dragging it in just a little bit. What that's going to do is we're going to create a blend from pink to transparent, which is going to show white underneath. And we're going to do it with the shape blend tool. I want the base shape to be transparent, right? Transparency, opacity of zero. Holding shift, I'm gonna click on the one that still has color, and we're gonna tell it to blend from this color to nothing. And we do that, and we can close Pathfinder, we don't need any more. And we come up to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and we wanna choose Smooth Color, right? Smooth Color, click OK. Now it hasn't done the blending yet. Remember, we gotta go back to object, blend, and actually make it. Then I'm gonna click on my eye here, the main part of my eye, and I want that white so we can see our blend, okay? But I don't want it 100% white, and I'm also gonna turn the stroke off for now. I don't want it to be 100% white, so I'm gonna come back to my gradient, doesn't matter what gradient you have here, pick anything, whatever's the default, just pick it. Switch it to radial. And then if you have more than one, drag it off so we have one on this side, one on that side. I'm gonna double click and make this white, but I want it just slightly off white. So see how it's 255 all the way down for white? I'm gonna say 250. Tab, 250, tab, 250, tab. I'm gonna double click on this guy, make it white also. Instead of 250, maybe 240, 
tab, 240 tab, 240 tab, and hit return. Gives us a slightly off-white look. Next, our blend. Let me open this up here. Our blend isn't quite super smooth at the moment, so let's see what's going on. I'm going to come up to... Oh, you know why? It's not super smooth. I just remembered we can't do smooth color. It's not going to work. So open up your eye layer, right? Click on that triangle. I'm going to click on the blend. I'm going to say object, blend, and release. And we're going to do that again. So they're both still selected. Okay. Object, blend, blend options. And we're going to need specified steps, about 250. Click OK, Object, Blend, and Make. Now, if yours looks like mine, where it has these kind of weird star, like these little lines, you want to switch from View from Preview on CPU. And it's going to jump really quick. And then now you can see that subtle little bit of change. Now we're almost done. We need to cut this outside part of the eye. So click on the white, make a copy, Command C. Click on the pupil and Command F to paste in front. So it goes in front of everything. We're going to highlight all of this good stuff, including the white and everything inside the eye right there using a clipping mask, object, clipping mask, make, it's going to cut our eye and make it fit. But remember, we made a copy because the original would disappear. Now we have that. The only other thing we might need, let me turn my eyeball visibility off. You notice on the reference, there's that little glint in the eye. So if you want to add that, this is what you can do. I'm going to take the ellipse tool and just right up here I'm going to kind of get myself an ellipse. I can keep it that same gradient as fine that we use for the white part of the eye. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe make it 100% white. Alright, so make it 100% white. And taking the direct selection tool you can kind of make this shape whatever you want. I'm just kind of making it a little imperfect. I'm going to select it, Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, turn Preview on, and we want the edge to blur a little bit. So I'm going to pick about four pixels, click OK. And then I'm going to drag it just kind of over like that. All right, gives us kind of a glint in the eye. If I hit Command-0 and zoom out, you can kind of see how the glint's there glints there like that, right? Now if this brown is too much, really quick, let's zoom back in. Maybe that brown is a little too much, so I can come into my clipping mask. I'm going to have to open up my clipping mask, and I'm going to have to click, shift click on both of my starbursts. And if I wanted to, I can do, well, first let me try actually a Gaussian Blur. Let's see what that does. Effect, and let's apply the same Gaussian Blur like we did on the glint and turn off. Oh, yeah, I think I like that better. Let's Command-0 and come out. A little more subtle. I like that. And it might be too much brown, so I might make that smaller. Right. So again, it takes a little bit of time. And I can come in here. Hold shift and click, take my scale tool, right? S for scale tool. And if I wanted that less, holding shift, I can kind of come in like that. Command zero, come back out, and I like that look better. So it takes a little bit of time, right? Definitely takes a little bit of time. We're going to command S to save, but time makes it look awesome. I know there's a lot of little steps right there. That's going to make it look really, really cool. Okay. Next up, we'll look at some eyelashes and eyebrows.